Hey families, welcome to the lab today. My name is Kieran and I am so glad that you're joining us today. Welcome to a brand new month with a brand new theme. This month, we're going to be hearing about a few different prophets and how we can grow our relationship with God. Now, prophets is not a word you hear all the time. And you might be wondering, what is that? That's not something that I've ever said. A prophet is someone who hears from God and delivers his message to the people. Kind of like a mailman, but with much, much more important things to say. See, the prophets in the Bible, they help prepare people for Jesus. And here's a sneak peek. We'll be talking about that more next month. But for now, let's check out what's going on in today's memory verse. This whole month's memory verse, in fact. Let's see. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Ephesians 2.10 Wow, God has made each of us and He has a plan for us to do. See, this is an incredible thing. God has always had a plan, even way back when the prophets from the Bible were alive. And see, He used the prophets to tell people about that plan. And so today, as we hear a story about one of the prophets, we're going to be hearing more about God's plan for us to grow close to Him. And that's actually going to be over this whole month. So without further ado, let's check out a Bible story about a prophet named Elijah. We'll see you soon. Bam, bam, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I don't know what bites the crust. Hey, I'm Baking. And I'm Boys. And here today, we have an episode of our all new show, Another One Bites the Crust, featuring the Baking, Baking Boys. Boys. Oh yeah. But before we get into anything, first, we have to dress for the occasion. Exactly. Right? That's what I'm always saying. What? We need mustaches. Mm -hmm. Every good chef ever has had a mustache, and that's a scientific fact. You can check it. Yes. Okay? And we're, we're gonna grow them instantly. Watch. Okay. All right. We are ready to go. Yes, we are. So, I heard that we got sent a recipe, correct? Yes, this is true. Danae sent us a very official looking recipe. Mm. So we know what to do, how to make the food that we're supposed to make. We're gonna be real with you, baking. Uh, I don't know if we should look at this recipe. I think, you know, I think, I think we should trust our instincts on this one. Really? Yes, we're called the Baking Boys for a reason. We don't need a recipe to tell us what to do. That's a good point. Like I always say, cake it till you make it. And that's that's okay. funny pun, get it? Cause no. cake okay. rhymes with okay. fake. Anyways, um, that's funny. We don't need a recipe. You know what? I'm just gonna burn it out. You're gonna burn it. Light it on fire. Okay. Sayonara. Ah! Now we're now see. Now, now we're good. Now we know what to do. Okay. What are we supposed to make? Uh. Okay. Well, what is something that everyone else likes, including me too? Um, cookies. Oh, Everybody cookies. likes yes. cookies. I've never yes. met somebody who doesn't like cookies. And cookies, what are they? Um, they're so salty. No, nope. sweet. sweet. They're sweet. They're sweet. Oh, they're sweet. yeah, that's right. That's right. And yes. to make something sweet, you put in salt. It switches it around. That's why it's confusing. Okay. No, nope. you put in. Sugar. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, Sugar. what else should we put in? And what are you? Uh, yes. Oh, I know. I like chocolate chips. Chocolate, chocolate chips, chips, yes. Put it yes. in chocolate chips. Okay, okay. And we need to make it stick together. What's sticky? Um, sticky. Stickers. Stickers are sticky. But what's stickier than stickers? Um, sticky stickers. Water. Oh, okay, okay, that should work. Okay, okay. Water is okay. stickier than stickers. All right, let's, let's, let's make this. Okay, good. Here we go. Alright, let's look at the consistency. Ooh, those look tasty! Yes, they do! Okay, it's time to cook them. Yes, I think we should put this into the oven. Okay. Yes? Let's put it. And here we are! We're back! With our finished product, let's stir it up just to make sure it's good. Stir, stir, stir. Okay. And look at the consistency. Taste test, Daniel. Taste test. Alright, ready? On the top! I'm gonna be real. I've seen cookies before, Daniel, and 
this is not how cookies look. And they, they, they don't taste like cookies neither. Mm. It tastes actually pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Okay, but, but I don't think it was cookies. I don't think trusting our instincts really worked out. Yeah. Um. Maybe we should call Danae. Maybe she can yeah. help us. Okay. I think, I think okay. That's good. Here we go. Danae. Uh. We need some help. You did what? But of course it won't turn out if you just put in chocolate chips, water, and sugar. Trusting your own ideas rather than the recipe is not such a good idea. You know what though? Actually, this is a really great learning opportunity. It reminds me of an even more important lesson than uh, not lighting the recipe on fire. Here, let me put you on speakerphone. It reminds me that just like we should trust a recipe to get the baking result that we want, we, there is someone else who we can trust not with getting good cookies, but with our whole lives. We can trust God. And sometimes that's not easy to do, and you're gonna hear about that in our Bible story. Let's go check it out. Well, today's Bible story is about a prophet named Elijah. A prophet is just somebody who shares God's words with people and a widow and her son. Now, they were living in the country of Israel that had no water. There was a huge drought, which meant there was no rain. And when there's no rain, the plants can't grow. And when plants can't grow, there's no crops to harvest, which means there is no food. So Elijah was in need of food. So God told him to go to visit this widow. And he found her and he said, may I please have some bread to eat? And she told him, all I have left is a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil. I was just about to bake some bread for me and my son, and that would be the last meal we have. But God told Elijah that it was going to be all right. Bake the bread and see what God can do. And so the widow chose to trust God. And she used the little bit of flour she had and the little bit of oil that she had, glug, glug, and she baked some bread. And then she took the bread and she shared it with Elijah, just like God had asked. And do you know what happened? The next time that our widow went to bake bread, there was still flour left in the jar and still oil left in her jug. And the next time, more flour and more oil. Every day, God provided enough for them to eat until the rain had come back and they could live again. She chose to trust God and God provided for her. So even though it was really hard for Elijah to trust God, they did, and God provided for him, the widow, and her son. And we can trust God too, because he is always trustworthy. There are lots of ways that we can work towards having a great relationship with Jesus. But the first step is to trust God. Hey, it's kind of like a recipe for growing in our relationship with God. This whole month, we'll be sharing steps to help us grow in our relationship with God. And step one is to trust him. Just like we should trust our recipe when we're making cookies to get the result that we want, cookies, with our lives, we can trust God because he's made the whole entire universe and he knows what's best for us. And so trusting him will always get us the best result. He loves us so much and he, always keeps his promises. Now, back to that cookie recipe problem. Um, I'm actually kind of glad you decided to burn it because it gave us this chance to learn about the importance of trusting God, just like you should trust your recipe. How about I send you another copy? Does that sound good? Yeah, okay, yeah. Thanks so much, Nate. Okay, bye. Well, I definitely learned a lot from Danae today. Yeah. Yeah. I learned that we should probably should have trusted her and the recipe, so that way we would have had something a lot better than whatever this we got going yeah, over here. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Danae knows a lot more about baking than we do, so yeah. it was probably a lot smarter if we would have trusted her. You know, God knows so much more than we do, and so that's why it's important that we trust Him. Just like, you know, we should have trusted Danae. Yeah, and that's step one. Step one is to trust God, just like Elijah and the widow did. Even when it was super, super hard, they still decided to 
trust God. You know, and that's right. It's not always easy to trust God. Sometimes it can be really hard. Sometimes we think we might know better, like like we did. We thought we could make cookies yeah. all on our own, but we really couldn't. Some, all of the time, following God and trusting God is the best decision we can make, mm -hmm. even when it's tricky. Yeah, and you know what was really tricky today? What? Trying to make cookies. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's all we have for today from the Baking Boys. Yep. On da da da. Another one past the crust. Oh yeah. Well, see you back here next week on the Lab TV for step two of following God. Bye. Okay. Did you catch? Do you know what step one is in building a relationship with God? Here it is. Step one, trust God. In the Bible story, we saw Elijah do it, and we also saw the widow do it. And we know that God came through. We can totally, 100%, always trust God. He's God over the little things and over the big things too. And he wants to be in control of every part of our lives. See, the best decision you can ever make is to choose to trust God with your whole life. He doesn't promise that nothing bad will ever happen, but he does promise to always be with us. And we know that his way is the best way. That's why we can put him in charge. And if you've never asked God to be leader of your life and let him know that you want to trust him with your whole life, you can do that with me now if you want to. So why don't we pray with him? We're going to ask God to forgive us of all the times we've not trusted his ways and done wrong things instead. And we're going to thank him that Jesus came and died on a cross so we could be forgiven of those things. And we're going to tell him that we want to trust him with the rest of our lives for the rest of our lives. If you want to do that, pray with me now. And you can just repeat after me. God, we thank you that you are always trustworthy. Please forgive me for all the times I've done wrong things. Choosing to trust my own way instead of your good and perfect way. Thank you, Jesus, that you forgave me. God, I want to trust you with my whole life. Please help me to follow you. Amen. Kids, if you prayed that prayer with me, I want you to tell someone, like right now, go. Go find a grown-up that you're with and tell them. And if you want, you can even tell us, tell me. You can ask for help to email us at kids at hopesy.ca or even text us 780-652-1520. We are so excited that you made the best decision ever to trust Jesus with your life. And hey, if you didn't make that choice, that's totally fine. Like we said, you're always welcome here. We're going to have more times online here or in person at any of our locations. And if you don't want to trust Jesus, that's totally fine. But you're always welcome to come in. And if you want, make that choice with us too. That's all for today. Have fun, be safe, make good choices, and we'll see you soon, either online or in person. See ya.